Antigua Sailing Week is the jewel in the crown of Caribbean regattas, and Cathy Lammers runs the show with a deft touch. This is my third event, so I've been involved two and a half years, and we're taking the event in a different direction. We've decided to cater to all the different types of boats that we have participating in the event. So big boats get long courses, smaller boats get shorter courses. Our objective is to keep all the boats on the water for roughly three, maximum four hours a day, uh, and that's what the sailors like. We've also moved it all into the south coast of Antigua, so they don't have the logistical problems that they used to have when we did destination racing. It's the third day of Antigua Sailing Week and have we got a treat for you. We're on the largest boat here sailing, the 94-foot German Frères Bristolian. Racing skipper John Burney has a lot of history with this boat, has one sailing week. This is a piece of Antigua Sailing Week history. Well, this is it, this is our big day. It's a beat, as you know, up this bit here. And then it's round to port, yes. Everybody focused? Yeah. Right, let's do it, team, hey? Ease, mate, ease, mate, ease, mate. Time? Eight. We're all over, aren't we? What have we got? What have we got? He can dip, Harold, he can dip. Okay, coming. Okay, great start by Bristolian, hitting the line with, uh, with good pace and good speed, but most importantly of all, putting Lacura behind us. That's the good news here on Bristolian. This is what we would expect with her in this sort of wind and wave pattern. We want to beat her up wind. I think she's a bit quicker downwind. We don't have the right spinnaker. Uh, we have to go bigger angles and she can sail much deeper than us. So if we get a really good beat up here and get away from her, we might have some chance to beat her to the line. Ready? I'm coming down. Eho! Watch that halyard, everybody. More men on the halyard. Two men on the halyard. Good old Louie. Eh? <laughs> come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Crucial drive. Very, very good sailors on that boat. So the guys on here should be very proud because they're all just started to race and some have never sailed before. Well, after two days of relatively light weather by Antiguan standards, uh, we've just had the most perfect day. We've had 20 knots of breeze, bright sunshine. It's exactly why people come to this fantastic regatta. One crew that caught our eye was skippered by Peter Peake from Trinidad, who liked to do things in style aboard his mothership, Calypso 2. Antigua has always been a place that we enjoy. You know, our crew comes here. We have a lot of local establishments that are very famous in our minds. You know, we, we, we talk about them all year long. You know, we're going back to the Mongols or we're going back to the Skullduggery or whatever it is. Remember that place or this place? And it's always good. You know, we have great memories of Antigua. Many of us have raised here for 20, 25, 30 years. You know, some of the older guys and we'll come back, we'll always come back. Another crew had won their entry as a prize, which was a result before they'd even started. We participated in a race called the uh, Antigua Barbuda Hamptons Challenge, and uh, there were 25 boats and we won the overall prize, which was a uh, all expense paid trip to Antigua to participate in Antigua Sailing Week. Minister McGinley arranged the whole thing, and so far it's spectacular. All right, Captain Jim, welcome to Antigua. Thank you. Welcome to Antigua and Barbuda. Yay! Yay! We can now. 
Right now, I would say we're winning our division. We are headed for the last downwind mark, and then it's upwind to the finish. I think it went very well. There really isn't much I would change. We're having a great time. It's beautiful here. The challenges for the Lord Nelson Trophy are beginning to come to light. Perhaps it'll be Ross Appleby, Scarlet Oyster, Lucy Reynolds, Southern Child, or will it be Ella Carzo or Artuza? Today, we will see the battle lines being drawn for who will win the overall trophy. At the moment we're winning our class, but when the discard comes in, we'll be back into second. Uh, we've kind of got to defend against Lancelot, but also hope that Cock can make a mistake, because they're racing really well at the moment. We've clinched our division, so at this point now, we're just trying to maintain our lead for Boat of the Week, according to the scores. So that's our, that's our objective today. A lot of great boats out there, so it's a big ask to get the overall, and um, we're just going to hopefully go out there and have some good save today and deliver. We've got a number of firsts, and uh, I think our worst race are two seconds. So if we win today, maybe we'll be chosen for the Lord Nelson. Five, four, three, two, one. So with the contenders throwing their hats in the ring, the battle was on for overall glory. Artuza cleaned up in CSA Class 3, scoring six wins and two seconds, enough to claim the week's overall Lord Nelson Trophy. Phil Box, you just won probably the most competitive anti-TV sailing week for many, many years. What's it feel like to have your hands on that trophy? Uh, it feels fantastic. The teams have done a great job. We've had a lot of fun down here. The conditions were wonderful. We love the regatta and uh, it's been a great feeling. Wonderful, let's hear it for our two and Phil Lott's crew. <laughs> That's it from Antigua's Azure Waters and Sunshine. We hope to see you there next year. <laughs>